the House of Windsor, once a symbol of unity and strength, is now visibly fractured. At the heart of this rift are two brothers, Prince William and Prince Harry, whose bond appears irrevocably broken. The once inseparable princes, united by the tragic loss of their mother, Princess Diana, now stand divided by a chasm of resentment, hurt, and misunderstanding. Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle, an American actress, brought the simmering tensions to a boil. Meghan, with her biracial heritage and modern outlook, represented a stark departure from royal tradition. The Sussexes' bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021 sent shockwaves through the monarchy. Harry's accusations of racism and neglect aimed at the royal family, coupled with Meghan's tearful account of her mental health struggles, painted a damning picture of life within the palace walls. The interview marked a point of no return, solidifying the rift between William and Harry and leaving the monarchy reeling from the fallout. In the wake of Harry and Meghan's departure from royal life, all eyes turned to Prince William. As the future king, the weight of the monarchy's reputation rested heavily on his shoulders. Many hoped he would address his brother's concerns and offer reconciliation. However, William's response has been characterized by silence. His silence, perceived by many as indifference, has cast a shadow over his public image. Headlines paint a picture of a prince out of touch with his people. The public now questions his ability to lead a modern monarchy. In stark contrast to William's reserved demeanor, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have embraced a different approach to public life. Freed from the constraints of royal protocol, they have chosen to speak openly and honestly about their experiences, both within the royal family and as individuals navigating the complexities of modern life. This candidness has resonated deeply with a global audience. Harry and Meghan's willingness to be vulnerable, to share their struggles with mental health, racism and the pressures of fame, has struck a chord with people who see their own experiences reflected in the couple's story. From advocating for mental health awareness to championing environmental causes, Harry and Meghan have used their post-royal lives to shine a light on issues close to their hearts. The Sussexes have become, in many ways, the people's royals. Their popularity stands in stark contrast to the growing unease surrounding Prince William and his perceived inability to connect with the concerns of a changing world. The implications of this brotherly feud extend far beyond personal animosity. The British monarchy, an institution steeped in tradition and symbolism, relies heavily on public perception for its survival. Prince William, as the heir apparent, should be the reassuring face of continuity, a symbol of stability and strength for the next generation. However, the ongoing conflict with Harry and the negative press surrounding his handling of the situation threatens to undermine his authority and weaken the monarchy's grip on the hearts and minds of the British people. A monarch without the love of their people is a monarch in peril. History is littered with examples of rulers who lost the support of their subjects, leading to unrest, revolution, and the downfall of entire dynasties. To secure the future of the crown, William must find a way to bridge the divide with his brother and repair his damaged public image. Failure to do so could have dire consequences not only for his own reign, but for the future of the British monarchy itself. At the heart of this royal saga lies a fundamental tension, the clash between tradition and modernity. The British monarchy, for all its pomp and ceremony, is an institution deeply rooted in the past. Prince William, raised in the shadow of this weighty legacy, appears caught between these two worlds. He is bound by duty and tradition, expected to uphold the customs and protocols that have defined the monarchy for centuries. Yet he is also a man of his time, aware of the changing world around him and the need for the monarchy to adapt to survive. The public, particularly younger generations, crave authenticity, vulnerability, and a willingness to engage with the complexities of modern life. They see these qualities in Harry and Meghan, and they find them lacking in William. To remain relevant, the institution must find a way to bridge the gap between its deeply ingrained traditions and the evolving expectations of a changing world. The ongoing drama within the House of Windsor has captivated the world, sparking endless speculation and debate. Public opinion on the Royal Rift is sharply divided, reflecting the complex emotions and differing perspectives on the roles of tradition, modernity and the future of the British monarchy. On one side stand ardent supporters of the crown, 
those who believe in the importance of upholding tradition and maintaining the monarchy's status quo. They view Harry and Meghan's departure as a betrayal, a selfish act that has brought shame and instability to an institution they hold dear. For them, William's silence is not a sign of weakness, but rather a mark of respect for tradition and a dignified response to unwarranted attacks. On the other side are those who sympathize with Harry and Meghan's plight. They see the couple as victims of an outdated and often cruel system, one that prioritizes protocol and image over compassion and individual well-being. Queen Elizabeth II, throughout her historic reign, has been a beacon of stability and continuity for the United Kingdom. Her unwavering dedication to duty, her quiet strength, and her ability to adapt to changing times have earned her the admiration and respect of generations. However, the public discord within her family threatens to tarnish her legacy and cast a long shadow on the reigns of those who will follow. The Queen has always prioritized the institution of the monarchy above all else. Her personal feelings, her private struggles, have always been subsumed to the greater good of the crown. The current rift within her family is perhaps the most personal and potentially damaging crisis she has faced. The Queen's successors will inherit a crown tarnished by scandal and division, making their task of securing the future of the monarchy all the more challenging. Beyond the titles, the palaces, and the pomp and circumstance, lie two brothers grappling with deep-seated hurt, resentment, and a profound sense of loss. William and Harry, who once shared an unbreakable bond forged in the crucible of shared grief, now stand on opposite sides of a seemingly insurmountable divide. The reasons for their estrangement are complex and multifaceted, rooted in their differing personalities, their individual experiences, and the immense pressure that comes with being born into the British royal family. The loss of their mother, Princess Diana, at such a young age, undoubtedly left an indelible mark on both brothers. Their grief, while deeply personal, played out on the world stage, subjecting them to a level of scrutiny and intrusion that few could imagine. The tragedy of their situation lies in the very public nature of their estrangement. Their pain is laid bare for the world to see, a constant reminder of the human cost of this very public and very painful family feud. The contrasting approaches of Prince William and Prince Harry to their royal roles offer a compelling case study in modern leadership. While William embodies the traditional Stoic approach, Harry has embraced a more empathetic, emotionally intelligent style that resonates deeply with a younger generation. William, bound by duty and tradition, appears trapped in a gilded cage of protocol and restraint. His public persona is carefully curated, his emotions tightly controlled. Harry, on the other hand, has chosen a path of authenticity and vulnerability. He speaks openly about his struggles with mental health, his experiences with therapy, and the challenges of navigating life in the public eye. The lesson for William, and indeed for any leader in today's world, is clear. Empathy matters. William's challenge is to find a way to reconcile his duty to tradition with the need for a more modern, empathetic leadership style. Despite